Hey everybody, today we're going to learn how to spile a plank. Spiling is the process of figuring out the shape of a plank on a boat. Problem is, no two planks are alike and they're bent and twisted into shape. So we've got to use a couple boat building techniques to figure out exactly what they're going to look like. There are many different ways to spile. I've watched people do it uh, on large boats, on small boats, uh, different parts of the country, in another country, and everyone has their own technique. We have a simple technique that we think works well for this shop. So this boat, which is called the Yankee Tender, currently has three of the four planks installed. We've got the garboard plank, the number two plank, the number three plank, and we need to put the last plank, which is called the shear, on. You can see that it, there's a mark for where the plank is going to come to all along the length of the boat. We need to figure out how to get that shape transferred onto a piece of wood. Keep in mind that this is a lap strike boat. The planks overlap each other by three quarters of an inch. I've got my upper edge of my plank right here. I'm gonna take my marking gauge and mark three quarters of an inch onto the number three plank. So this is the width of my plank, but only at one point. I've got to figure out the width for the entire length of the boat. So I've got a line drawn now for the lower edge of our plank. It runs the entire length of the boat. This is going to help us when we spile. The next step is to grab a piece of wood. So I found a piece of cedar that I'm going to use for the plank. And as you can see, this plank is a lot wider than what it needs to be. This is critical for our spiling method. The piece of wood that you find needs to be a little bit bigger than the eventual shape because we're actually going to wrap it around the boat and trace it. We're lucky enough to have a source for main cedar logs that's not too far away. And the diameter of the logs means that we can actually get wide planks for spiling. If you can't get really wide planks, you're going to need to spile a different, more conventional way. We're also really lucky to have our own sawmill at the museum, and we can use this to cut the cedar into the exact thicknesses that we need. In addition to the flexibility the sawmill gives us for cutting wood, it's also a great teaching tool for all of our middle school boat building programs. Now I'm going to clamp the piece of cedar around the boat, making sure that I cover completely the overlap line that I drew and the marks that are on the stations that show me the other edge of the plank. Remember that the upper and lower edges of the plank shape are already marked on the boat on the station molds and on the previous plank. We need to cover that with the piece of wood. Once we have the piece of wood clamped to the boat, we can then trace the lower edge and we can mark off where the upper edge is going to be. It's important when you clamp the piece of wood to the boat that you don't wrench it up anywhere. Keep it nice and flat and even. So I clamped the plank up to the boat and there's some noticeable imperfections in the wood, some big knots and some holes. And I tried to move these so they were up, so they were out of the way of where the plank is eventually going to go. Now we're going to trace the plank from the inside of the okay, boat. So we're inside the boat and as you can see, the piece of wood I put on is going to be a lot wider than what it needs to be. So I'm going to mark the lower edge and the upper edge. The lower edge is easy to mark. I can just trace this overlap with my pencil the entire length of the boat. And where the stations are, I'm gonna draw a vertical line. And then I'm gonna mark where the top of the plank comes just with a little horizontal line, just like that. So I've marked the plank. Now I'm gonna take it off, put it on the bench and take a look. So you can see the lines that I marked onto the plank. And you can see at each station, there's a little mark showing me the upper edge of the plank. I can connect those marks to give me a nice, fair, pleasing curve that's gonna be the shape of the boat. And this line right here, this overlap that I traced, this is actually not the line I want because if I cut it here, the planks will touch tightly, but they won't overlap by three quarters of an inch. I need to add three quarters of an inch to this, draw a parallel line and cut to that. Okay, so I connected the points on the upper edge of the plank with a batten, which is a long, thin, flexible piece of wood. And I added three quarters of an inch overlap to the lower edge of the plank. And I drew that all the way down the length of the boat. 
Everything looks good. There should be plenty of plank. Everything should fit perfectly. The last thing to do is to cut it out and we'll do that in the next video. Once all the lines are drawn, cut the plank out and check the fit. 